Hello everybody, Lou is here and let's talk C Sharp. So this is going to be a very quick video. Um, just wanted to show you guys how to work with a solution with multiple projects, right? So here um, I have this uh, Hello World solution, the solution I've been uh, using uh, for this video series. Uh, and I do have one project here called Hello World. That's how we named it uh, when we created this project. Uh, and here I have my program.cs file, which is open right here. Sometimes, however, I may need other projects, you know, maybe I'm working larger scale applications. Um, so what happens is that I'm, I'm going to have to create more than one project inside the same solution, right? So what I want to do here is create a new project. And to do that, all I have to do is right click my solution up here. Say add new project. Okay. This window is going to show up. And that's where I'm gonna, you know, be able to select what kind of project I want to add to my solution. Is it a console app? Is this a web application? So, uh, for the purpose of of this course, what we're doing is we're doing C sharp and we're doing a console application. Doesn't really matter. This is just an example. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click double click that, uh, and I'm gonna name it example. So I have my new project here. However, however, uh, let me close these things. Just make it a little more visual. So in my old project, what I had, if I look at my program.cs is an empty project. I don't see anything here, right? And if I run this, um, essentially I'm not going to see anything because I'm not printing anything onto the console, right? That's exactly what happens. So I can close this. Um, however, I just created a new project, right? And if I open the program.cs, I can see that there is a console right line, hello world in here. If I run this, I get nothing. So that's a little weird that that's not what I was expecting, right? Um, and the reason for that is because even though you did create a new project called example and it's right here, right? It is not configured as your startup project, right? So to do that, all you have to do is right click your new project and click this option here, set as startup project. Okay, so click there and you're going to see that the project name becomes bold, right? So that's how you know that is the project that's actually going to run when you press Control F5 if you're on Windows, right? So now if I run this, there you go. I see my hello world, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so yeah, it is possible to have multiple projects inside the same solution. That's what solutions are for. Um, but you have to make sure that uh, you are configuring your entry points correctly here. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set my old project as, a, as my startup project. But you know, sometimes and you know things go wrong. Maybe you added a a project in, in into your solution, and you know this is not exactly the project type that you were looking for. So if that's the case, you may want to delete it. So if that's what you want to do, all you have to do is right click your project, the one you want to delete, and say remove. Say okay, and there you go. Project is removed. You just have to be careful here, because. Even though you did delete your project from here, uh, if you go look at your file system, you're going to see that the folder is still here, right? So this is both good and bad. If you deleted something by accident, you know, you can relax because all your files are still here. Okay. Uh, especially your program.cs, which in this case it's, is your main file, right? So you didn't lose anything. However, if you want to keep your folder structure tidy and, you know, you don't you just don't want to have things in there that you're not using. Right. So you have to make sure that you come here and delete the folder for the project you had originally deleted. So now you're good and your project is clean. So this is what I had for this video. I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. This is a topic that, you know, some, some people get a little confused about. So let's keep going. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.